Hey guys, Jared back. So we've got the Nexus 4 in front of us here, and I've loaded a new ROM on. It's called Veneer. That what you just saw there was the actual uh, boot animation, which I thought was pretty sharp and kind of wanted to start off the video showing that. Um, this ROM has got a ton of customizations. Uh, that said, if you don't like long videos on ROMs, now's the time to click away. I don't want to hear any complaints in the comment section, all right? Um, so for all of you Nexus 4 guys, you guys are going to love this ROM. You're going to love it. Uh, first and foremost, you may notice the status bar is completely transparent. The navigation bar is completely transparent. And I also have an added um, button there, my little menu button there, as you can see. And yes, it does work. Uh, we do have Halo, if it'll decide to make an appearance there, as you can see, uh, with Ninja Mode enabled. We also have Pi Control, if I can figure out how to activate it which i can't because i never use it but nevertheless you also know you've got a little widget here if we go ahead and long press that drop it onto our desktop here this new menu pops up and we can do things like i just showed you before with the reboot menu so if i want to i can actually click torch and when i hit that the torch is active all right turn it off same thing with the reboot menu if i want to brings up the reboot menu right so that's pretty cool all right Great, now that we're all caught up, pull down the notification tray and you can see our quick toggles here. I've actually resized them and you can add as many or you know disable as many as you want. Um, alternatively, you can swipe your finger across and get into the uh, notification panel there. And it is a little bit transparent though. I, I don't think I've been able to see any options where to increase the transparency in the settings, but you know, I may not have looked hard enough. Uh, so let's go ahead and jump into the settings options here. Now, uh, generally speaking, AOSP based ROMs, there's not a whole lot of modifications you'll see in sound display, which are kind of the most important uh, ones as far as like, you know, because most, you know, AOKP, Paranoid Android, they'll have a section in the settings menu here that is specifically for like the hardcore customizations of the ROM. Um, what I did happen to find though in sound and by the way, this is based off of Android 4.3. If any of you guys are wondering, that just popped into my head now. <laughs> um, we do have uh, volume panel style. So we have the expandable if we wanted to. And that basically means, you know, boom, click that and away you go, right? Um, we also have uh, music effects. So DSP manager, like most ROMs, it's there by default. Uh, safe headset volume, which I love to have disabled. I know you guys agree with me. I know it. I can hear you. Uh, notification conversion, so turning sounds to vibrations during vibrate mode, which I don't know why I wouldn't just turn the volume all the way down to vibrate mode and just leave it at that, but whatever. Um, it's kind of redundant, but uh, um, default mode, and that's all pretty basic. And Oh, and of course, you do have the camera perv mode there if you want. Um, we also have display there. I think there was a couple of extra options in here that I found. Uh, status bar brightness slider. So move your uh, finger across the status bar there to uh, raise or lower the brightness, of course. Active display, which you can toggle on or off if you want to. And uh, animation control. So you can change and customize the different animations based on all kinds of different stuff in there. Uh, so that's cool. Backing out of there, let's go ahead and jump into the actual veneer customizations. And by the way, if you guys are wondering veneer, um, and I don't know if I'm actually pronouncing it properly, I'm sure there's more of an accented way to say it, but it's got something to do with um, Vikings and stuff like that. Uh, something to do with one of the gods, one of their gods. I, I forget who though. Um, anyways, so uh, we've got quick settings here. Uh, so you can active uh, active slash quick settings tiles. Um, you can, like I said before, you can add or remove if you want to. Uh, quick setting tile order, so you can rearrange them if you like. Uh, toggles per row, so right now I've got it set to five, but if I wanted to bring it back to normal, and we pull that down as you can see, but from that point we'll just be scrolling. So obviously the more tiles, oh, and there's Pi Control now that I've somehow managed to bring it up. Um, <laughs> so, you know, the more the more tiles you put in there, I'm probably gonna recommend that you do, in fact, um, you know, make the toggles like, say, for instance, five. Uh, and of course we have quick pull down, so that's basically pulling this down to act to um, gain access to the quick toggles or pull down from the center to pull down notification tray. And of course I can have that switched over to the left side, depending on obviously if you're left or right hand, it is probably beneficial to you, right? Um, let's see what else we've got here. Status bar mods. Um, this is pretty generic. You can change the clock style, the colors, the text of your battery and signal and, and, and clock, you know, uh, pretty basic Android theming there. Um, navigation bar. So we jump into navigation bar here and we've got menu button location, um, right, left, both, remove, uh, menu button visibility, when do you want the menu to show if you want to have it hidden uh, until it's actually needed uh, based on the situation, navigation bar color, button colors, and the button color glow. 
um, menu arrow keys while you're um, typing on a keyboard, uh, navigation button quantity. So if we click on that, we can actually bump it all the way up to seven if you want. As you can see, I already have it set to four to uh, make room for the menu button. That's that's really all I need, but some of you guys might like to get really technical and uh, add more in there. Uh, we also have nav, nav button transparency. So as you can see, I can uh, adjust it on the fly, no saving and having to wait for it to pop back up only to crash on me later. Um, I like to have it nice and bright and visible. Uh, and of course we can modify the different buttons here uh, as well. So um, I'll show you something interesting here. So if we want to go ahead and click on the left side of that particular option we've got all these different options that we can choose from here different actions and things like that um, but if I click on the right side of it you'll notice it actually brings up the gallery here says select a photo I can actually change the image of these particular buttons here which I think is really cool so if you if you think you have a really cool image to replace these sort of um, default old sort of boring if you will um, uh, images there uh, then go ahead and do so man make it really crazy right um, uh, number of nav ring targets, customized nav ring, allow long press on targets. I mean, you can really add some crazy functionality to these uh, to this ROM if you wanted to. Um, of course, advanced settings, so button glow animation, nav bar height, uh, nav bar height landscape, and nav bar width. Um, and configure widget. So, I mean, we can actually make this if I, mm, I don't, maybe was it this one? If we can try, what do we set? So we're on 48 right now. What if we bumped it up to... Oh, hang on here. What if we bumped it up to 52? So it gets a little bit bigger. I don't know if you guys saw that or not, uh, but it did make it a little bit bigger. And what if we went to uh, width? Uh, no more really options there. That doesn't, I don't think that changed anything. <laughs> I don't think it changed anything at all. But anyways, so you get the idea there. And of course we can configure widgets uh, if you want to. Um, nav bar, did we already, yeah, we already went in there. Uh, transparency settings, so this is pretty awesome. So uh, if I wanted to, I'll go ahead up to 100%, click save, jump back to the home screen. And now the status bar and nav bar are both solid black. Uh, alternative, alternatively, we can go ahead and jump back in here and click on transparency settings and broop, all the way back down, click save and bam. And I love that look. I think that looks really, really, really sharp. It almost adds to the screen real estate uh, if you think about it. Um, so moving on from there, of course, we've got Pi controls. What would an AOSP ROM be without Pi control? So you can enable or disable it if you want to. Um, and of course, you've got all the standard um, Pi control uh, customization options everywhere from the gaps between to the, to the um, uh, colors, to the different types of buttons that you want, the style, size, angles, and so on. Uh, you know, the sky's the limit, man. Um, of course, we've got Halo settings as well. I showed you earlier that we do have Halo, so you can enable or disable it. Now, I haven't flashed Paranoid Android in probably six months or longer. Um, and I'll be honest with you, the number one reason behind that is because although I think Halo is a really, really cool and innovative feature from Par Par Paranoid Android, God, I'm stuttering there. Um, I didn't like it and I never used it. Call me old school. I'm just used to pulling down my notification tray. I mean, that's what it's there for, right? Um, just by force of habit, I tried as hard as I could to use Halo. I just couldn't get into it. And what turned me off from Paranoid Android from that point on was that they never had the ability to actually disable it if you didn't want it. Um, a lot of people say, well, that's the whole point of Paranoid Android. Actually, the whole point of Paranoid Android from the beginning was that you could do per app DPI and color settings. That was a thing, per app customization. And then they added uh, Halo on top of it, which just added coolness to it. And of course, Pi as well. One of the most innovative ROMs. Um, anyways, I'm way off topic now. So, But it's cool that you can enable or disable it. Um, and you've got all these different options in here that you can really, really customize. Um, your experience with Halo, which I think is just phenomenal. Um, we've got an app bar here as well, which is really cool. Now, I've done a lot of app reviews on uh, this type of um, a thing. Um, I don't even know if I should really call it an application, but for lack of better words, I'm going to. So we can go ahead and enable it. And you'll notice here that we've got this little bar that pops up. Now you can change the width of it and the height of it if you want to, but I'm gonna show you what it is. So this little thing comes out from the side of your uh, device, uh, display there, and it shows some applications as you saw there. If I can go ahead and activate it again. So you're going to, oh shit. Um, <laughs> let's just show you what we can do with it. So if we go to set up app bar content, you'll notice we've got the applications on the left hand side there. Now I've also made a folder. So if I wanted to, I could say this for instance, uh, drag the calculator in there, drop that there. And maybe I want the calendar to live uh, with the calculator. So I can go ahead and create a folder. And then that way we click save and we click back when we activate we activate it now you can see that we've got quick access to all these different applications there um so that's kind of neat um i'm probably never going to use it so i'm just going to go ahead and disable it but it's a really cool feature 
Um, backing out of there, and of course you've got some different lock screen customizations, everything from the transparency of things, lock screen carousel, um, camera widgets, 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 and sliders and targets and all kinds of stuff. I actually don't add that stuff onto the lock screen. Weird, I'm, I'm weird, I know, I'm really strange how I like to customize my phones. Um, but then we get into some of the old school, old fashioned modifications such as volume rocker wake and volume rocker music control. But what a ROM be without those two things, right? I love always seeing those included. No, we do have power menu and trees uh, so if we want to we can go ahead and click on there reboot screenshot airplane sound panel expanded desktop go ahead and long press that and as you can see we've got those added right there uh, so we'll back out of there and we can get down to LCD density uh, and it gives you this long list of you know things that you have to do in order to change the density uh, dual panel settings so basically if I was to pull this down well basically this would be split into two I'm sure you guys are aware of what that is kind of like um, tablet mode right um, UI mode, what style to display navbar and status bar changes before, oh, that's boring. Uh, wake up on charge, I don't like that. CRT screen off, I like that. And the animation mode, which is usually pretty boring, either horizontal or vertical mode, so nothing really too fancy there. Um, whoops, is that everything? Oh shit, I think I just showed you guys everything. Okay, cool. And then we can move into performance there. And we've got processor, so of course we can change the clock speed as well as the governors, which are limited to interactive on-demand user space, power save, and performance. But I like that. I don't like having too many bloody governors because it's just it's just too much. It's just too much. Just give me the best ones that are really simple and leave it at that, right? Um, I have a scheduler. If you wanted to change that around, you're more than welcome to. Uh, disable boot animation, enhance recents panel, uh, add a memory usage bar to the recents panel. So we'll go ahead and check that and we'll let this reload. Click the recents bar and as you can see, very elegantly put up there at the top, um, it shows how much free RAM I have. And if I want to, I can go ahead and click on that and that should have there he goes that should have killed everything there you go now it's working <laughs> now it's working um and let's see if there's anything else i can show you in the performance section there uh, performance and uh voltage control if you want to mess around now, that's something i don't usually screw around with but uh, you can if you want to 16-bit transparency and of course surf surface improvement um, by disabling dithering and that's it that's all she wrote folks um extreme customization on this thing and i think they picked just the right features to customize this is a really great rom for those of you that don't like too much customization um as well as those of you that like a lot of customization it's it's a really interesting sort of a hybrid rom um they've taken a lot of things from paranoid android and some things from cyanogen mod as well i believe uh, it's beautiful and i absolutely love it um anyways i'll be posting a link in the description below so you guys can go and check it out for yourself but that's it for this one though guys i'm sure you will enjoy this rom as much as i have um, links in the description like i said if you like this video click that likes button if you're new to the channel subscribe for more videos like this one and that's it for now we'll see you in the next one guys cheers